What up hi people, time for another banging reaction video. Today's video is by Kappa90. Are these the most intimidating fans in football, the Greek Ultras? Now I'm currently in Athens at the moment. I went to Thessaloniki recently and checked out a Greek Super League game there between Payak and Aris. Link is in the description down below. But go on today's video, if you don't know about the Greek Ultras, then this is the video for you. The Greek Ultras are renowned as some of the best fans in the world and the atmosphere they produce is unbelievable. So I suggest you put a Greek Super League game on your bucket list. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and let's try and get this video over 1,000 likes. Also, if you want to suggest a reaction video to me, write it down in the comments down below and you never know, I might just make a video on your suggestion. Okay, without further ado, let's fire this bad boy up and see what the Greek Ultras are all about. Greek football is in a state of disarray. Alleged corruption, ban on the majority of away fans and high average ticket prices. And yet, okay, despite that's... these factors, the Greek Ultras scene is thriving and spectacular. Yeah, I didn't know that. The way support a band. So, the most important ultras are based in Athens 15, 20 and Thessaloniki, years. who both have strong local clubs. The biggest rivalries is the derby of the eternal enemies between Olympiakos versus Panathinaikos and Aris versus Pauk. That's AK's old ground thing. There's Panathinaikos. Looking forward to visiting there. First, it's Olympiakos, unquestionably the strongest club having won five consecutive Super League titles. The it's Ultras here go by the name of Gate 7, in reference to the yep. area where they stand. Gate 7 have a fans alliance with the Delia from Red Star Belgrade. Not a bad Tifo at all, that. Next, and the hated rival of Olympiakos, it's Gate 13, from Panathinaikos. Gate 13 are currently in conflict with the Greek government and the sports minister, who closed the gate as a result of the riots that happened in the last <laughs> derby match against Olympiakos. Nice message there. Like a lot of Greek cultures, Gate 13 offer fanatical support to almost every sport, from football and basketball to volleyball and water polo. Yeah, I'm looking forward to checking out the football stadium. Holds 16,500, so... Very compact. I know all about Panathinaikos. There we go, AEK. Also in the Greek capital. Who's this is dude here whipping up the crowd? Let me know in comments. Known as Original 21. Yeah, they've got a new ground now, a AK. Politically Looks good. And recently showed banners to support refugees. Not bad light show, that. Away from Athens and to the second city, Thessaloniki, where you'll find Pauk and their ultras known as Gate 4. Done quite a few videos on Payak, go check them out, links in the description down below. Toomba Stadium, and the stadium. created by the Payak fans, was Quality feared in the fans. 80s and 90s by all Athenian clubs. That is something else. Games against Olympiakos are considered the biggest non-local derby in Greece. But the big derby for Payak is against Aris, where bragging rights for the city are on offer. Great, great support. This is Harris. Yeah. And the basketball. You don't get this in England. Are Aris and their supporters group named Super 3. Yeah. Due to financial irregularities, the team are currently playing in the third division. But still command a good following. They're in the top league now. So. Um. 
Aris hold the record for the biggest away support with more than 25,000 fans following the club in Athens for the Greek Cup final in 2010 against Panathinaikos. Not bad following. Also in Thessaloniki are Heraklis and their supporter group Gate 10. Heraklis are the oldest club of Thessaloniki, having been formed in 1908. Some good support there. Heraklis hold a record attendance in Thessaloniki, with over 50,000 fans for a game against Panathinaikos in 1971. Look at these fans. Quality. Well, there you go, a little insight for you if you didn't know about Greek cultures. As you can see by this video, the fans there, they're unbelievable. Have you been to a Greek Super League game? Would you go to one? Who do you think is the best football fans of the world? Let me know in comments. Okay, stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.